Hello my lovelies! It's time for our final holiday hairstyle of the month. Um, I did some pre-prep work and uh, we've got some things that we're putting in this hairstyle because you know I like to decorate. So uh, the prep work was um, two uh, Dutch braids with uh, curled ends because I want waves with curls on the ends because we're going to do a half up. Yay! Um, as far as what's going in our hair, we're going to need pins. Uh, I don't believe that we're going to need any clear hair elastics. I'm going to try and do it without. Um, so regular bobby pins, big bobby pins, whatever pins you like. Um, for decoration, we are using, using a string of white LED lights. Um, I made some pins out of little disco ball ornaments. <laughs> And uh, U pins, which uh, you learned how to make yesterday. Yay! Um, basically, it's just hot glue, you guys. <laughs> and then I did um, dip the ends of some of my pearl flower pins in hot glue to make them so they wouldn't stab us in the head. Uh, I did a dozen. I don't know if we'll need all 12, but we shall see. Um, Yay! Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is take this down uh, first, just because, you know, this was our prep work, and then I will be back to show you the next step and how we're going to make this have up awesome. P.S. If you do curl uh, the ends of your braids with soft rollers, which is always a nice way because then you have curls and not spaghetti ends, I always recommend that you use perm papers because it will help sometimes with soft rollers your hair wraps around them you know because they're squished and when you go to take them out you there's ripping and tearing and sadness um, but if you use perm papers that doesn't happen just a tip okay uh yeah let me do this all right uh braids are down um, so you can see we have pretty braid waves, and then I never know if you can see the ends. Um, we have curly ends instead of spaghetti ends, which is nice. Um, do not brush this. No brushing, um, cause then you just end up with the frizz vest. Um, just finger comb. Gently, um, like if your ends are, are sitting together, you just kind of gently bounce them apart like so, and they will let go. You do not have to rip and tear through them. Okay, so like I said, we're doing a half up, which means let's get half of our hair up. <laughs> um, and it's going to be a true half up, not just like a, a third. Um, it's actually right about half. So starting above your ears, you want to go straight across the bed. And you'll notice I'm not brushing down. I'm just smoothing <laughs> this section. Okay. Um, make sure we don't have anything attached right there. Now we are going to do a knot, basically. Um, it's kind of like the beginning of a nautilus. You just sort of want to swirl it like so, pull this through. Dun, dun, dun. We just need to eat up a little bit of length. You come through too. Make sure I got it all. There we go. Alright, now I'm just going to pin it. Um, you see, it's a knot. Da, da, da. We're pinning. We're pinning it and pin it down really, really well. Alright, pinned. We're pinned. Pinned. We have a little knot, a little ponytail. We're pinned. Okay, so the next step is we're actually going to go ahead and put our lights in. Just so I left the front of this unpinned so I could slide our battery pack back in there. Um, I don't love it. <laughs> Just to make sure these aren't tangled. These ones are actually on a wire. Um, well, I guess technically they're all wired. But um, these ones are on a much more uh, bendy, kind of stiff wire. As in, uh, it'll, it'll hold shape. Do you see? So, uh, just be careful you don't mess up your filaments or whatever when you're getting it undone. Like I'm trying not to. We need it relatively straight. Would be nice. There we go. I'm just going to double check. Make sure that my uh, 
lights are working. They're working. All right. Um, and I'm going to take the battery pack, make sure that my switch is in the front so that I can get to it. I'm just going to slide it right underneath this bun. And then I'm going to put one pin right here just to cover up where it's at. Um, I'd actually like one of my smaller ones. Instead of one of my giant ones. There we go. I gotta say, I love the fact that this battery pack is so small. Now, um, we're basically going to ignore this for right now. We just need it to get it in place. Now, what we're going to do is all of this. We're going to make two braids. So I'm going to split this in half. And we are not going to braid them all the way to the ends because we want these to be pretty. Um, you can do English braids or you can do rope braids. It is entirely up to you and your preference. I am going to rope braid um, just because I like rope braids. That's simply, yeah. So, um, I'm just going to root braid, root braid, root braid, like so. Not quite all the way to the end. I want to leave those curly ends out and a good bit of them. So about that much. And now I'm going to pull this over and pin it like so, so that my little curls are right here in the back. Okie dokie. And same thing on the other side. Another rope braid on this side. Again, we do not want to rope braid all the way to the ends. We want to leave pretty curly ends. Bring it up and over. And it should pin in the same spot. Make sure are even. You'll see these are kind of loose, but that's fine because we're going to put lights around those. And I don't want them down too tight because we need some room to move. You see your pins. Don't worry about your pins. You know me. We cover things. Okay, so you're looking at this going, it's a little lopsided. You see these are loose. Like I did not pin them in the front because we are going to sort of sew this around them. Um, so go ahead and pull this over. As you see, our first light doesn't even start till here, which is good. So we're just going to kind of move this wire back to here. I'm going to go all the way up to the end. And if you've watched any of my hair taping videos, you know what happens now. So I'm going to gently, carefully, <laughs> just run this wire up like this. I'm going to sew these together. Um, I say gently because we do not want to damage our wire so our lights won't work. Do you know what I mean? So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to sew around both of these uh, rope braids. Just get the end poking up through there. Have I got it? Yes. So all this around the front. So let me do that because this is going to take a little while and a little bit of finesse and then I shall return for our next step. Okay, back all right. Again. We're all wrapped around. Lovely. We have about eight inches left. All I'm going to do is take it back around, bring it here into the front and I'm going to use one bobby pin. Actually, I'll probably put a bobby pin over here and a bobby pin over here just to hold it in place. So it doesn't end up sticking up all wonky later. You know, as things might happen. <laughs> Alrighty. Now I always try to do things without the lights on because I figure, you know, maybe you won't want to turn your lights on until you get to wherever you're going. Um, I will address the bangs in a moment. Um, kind of thing. You know, you just want to make sure that you can still stick your finger up in here, under here, and find your, as you can see, it's right here. Can you see? So that we can easily get to it <laughs> um, to turn it on and off. So like you can get already at home and everything and then get there, 
and then turn on your I just imagine people go places so now for decorations uh we are we would be a glow you can stop here I'm gonna do my bangs first because they're gonna drive me crazy sticking in my lashes just a sec need something to cover here I happen to have something um, Siobhan made me this beautiful white flower which you see all these pretty uh, sparkles and just so happens I did this so it would match um, I don't know I liked it I was putting this in there somewhere so we might as well put it back here to cover up our uh, make sure I got it right like so isn't that pretty that's pretty looks Christmassy. So we're going pretty from the back. Now, I realize that some of you are not going to want to do the disco balls, but uh, so just in case, we're going to do the pearls first. So we'll go for really classy um, with this C and then we're going to add the uh, disco balls second so we can do my form of classy, which is classy with a K. So I'm just going to take these little pearls and decorate in between um, just because I think it's pretty and now you don't have to worry about jabbing yourself in the head um, because we fix the ends with hot glue which is always nice so this will be kind of like a pearl tiara um, which is fun for me I don't know if it's fun for you but I don't think it's tacky let's put it that way I don't, I don't think it's tacky Pearls are not tacky, they're always classy um, to me. So, pearls first. For our classy version. Let's see. I think I have just enough. Let's go between everything. All the way around. Anyone here? Gonna double check, make sure they're all where they're supposed to be. Yeah, all the way, all the way. So one more back here since I have one more, basically. Yay! All right, now let's turn it on and see how it looks. Just pop this up. There's our little box. Where's my little box? Who's right there? There it is. There we go. Back in there, pin. We are illuminated. Illuminated and very pretty. Illuminated. Um, it might be even prettier in the dark. We are a glow, as it were. Um, yay. I suppose I should take a picture now before we put in all this stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. So, um, as I showed you yesterday, I did these in two ways. Um, I did these uh, so that they would, some of them would lay flat and go in like this. And I did some so they would be like straight up and down and poke in because we're building a tiara. So, of the straight up and down ones, I did three. Of the flat ones, I did four because the tiara. Um, so, we already have our pearls in. Where's one of my really good straight up and downer? There we go. So, straight up and down. Oh, my battery pack's right under there. Apparently, I didn't think that through. Well, we're going to have to tilt it back a little bit. So, there is our, hopefully, right above our nose where it should be. On top, our other two that go straight up and down. One to each side. Like this. Yes. Yay. Now, the ones that go forward or lie flat, we put right underneath, like so. One, two, so they will sit in front. Oh, that one's got a real thick base, doesn't it? We'll put that one off to the side. There we go. Oh, underneath, there you go. In front, and then off to the side like so and now as you can see we have a tier of disco balls 
and uh, they go with the lights though because then you get even more sparkle in the dark. I can't help it you guys I like all the sparkles. So um yes I did add the disco balls because um with just the pearls this is beautiful for whichever sort of holiday fancy gathering you're going to. With the disco balls, this takes it into New Year's um, because, I don't know, everybody parties on New Year's. So, I, in doing holiday, uh, I wanted to get both of them for you. So, it's one hairstyle and depending on how you decorate it, you can take it straight to New Year's. Um, I know the disco balls are not going to be for everybody. I know the disco balls are not going to be for most of you, but you have to admit it looks really cool. <laughs> it looks cool to me. We made a tiara out of dollar store stuff. Come on, how awesome is that? Um, and it lights up because why not? So uh, that is our final holiday hairstyle. Um, somewhat classy, somewhat trashy usually what you get with me. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, some of you have already been sending in uh, some of your illuminated hair already, which is awesome. I just love the fact that I have so many women out there that are running around with lights in their hair at this time of year. It delights me more than you can ever know. So um, yes, uh, if you do this, you know to send me pictures, especially if you go full disco ball. I'm just Okay, I love you guys, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, next week is my week off, and it is Christmas, so uh, if you only come here for the hair, let me be sure to tell you Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you get everything you want. I hope that your home is filled with love. I hope that everybody in your family is healthy and safe. Um, yeah, so season's greetings and all that jazz. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.